Now, I would like deliver some contents on the nanoscale sensors, or nano sensors. A sensor is an instrument that responds to a physical stimulus, such as heat, light, sound, pressure, magnetism, or motion. It collects and measures data regarding some property of a phenomenon, object, or material. Sensors are an important part to any measurement and automation application. The sensor is responsible for converting some type of physical phenomenon into a quantity measurable by a data acquisition system. Nanosensors are any biological, chemical, or surgical sensory points used to convey information about nanoparticles to the macroscopic world. Their use mainly include various medicinal purposes and as gateways to building other nanoproducts, such as computer chips that work at the nanoscale and nanorobots. Presently, there are several ways proposed to make nanosensors, including top-down lithography, bottom-up assembly, and molecular self-assembly. Why nanosensors? Particles that are smaller than the characteristic lengths associated with the specific phenomena often display new chemistry and new physics that lead to new properties that depend on size. When the size of the structure is decreased, surface-to-volume ratio increases considerably and the surface phenomena predominate over the chemistry and physics in the bulk. The reduction in the size of the sensing part and slash or the transducer in a sensor is important in order to better miniaturize the devices. Science of nanomaterials deals with new phenomena and new sensor devices are being built that take advantage of these phenomena. Sensitivity can increase due to better conduction properties, the limits of detection can be lower, very small quantities of samples can be analyzed, direct detection is possible without using labels, and some reagents can be eliminated. Nano sensors deliver real-time information about the antibodies to antigens, cell receptors to their glands, and DNA and RNA to nucleic acid with a complementary sequence sensitivity of the conventional biosensors is in the range between 103 and 104 colony forming units, CFU, slash ML. The dimensional compatibility of nanostructured materials renders nanotechnology as an obvious choice derived from its ability to detect one CFU slash ML sensitivity reduced detection time than conventional methods. Nanosensor, an extremely small device capable of detecting and responding to physical stimuli with dimensions on the order of one billionth of a meter. Physical stimuli, biological and chemical substances, displacement, motion, force, mass, acoustic, thermal, and electromagnetic. For nanosensors, let's first look at chemical sensors such as gas sensor. Chemical sensors usually contain two basic components connected in series, a chemical molecular recognition or receptor, and a physicochemical transducer as shown in the left figure. In the majority of chemical sensors, the receptor interacts with the analyte molecules. As a result, the physical properties are altered in such a way that the appending transducer can gain an electrical signal. For example, we can think about gas sensors as shown in the right figure. Three figures of merit related to gas sensing technology such as reversibility, sensitivity, and selectivity. 
In each sensing cell, two electrodes, source and drain, are made to have a nanoscale gap between them with a typical gap width of 40 to 60 nanometers. In this configuration, gold nanoparticles are placed randomly over the gap area. Adsorption of a certain kind of gaseous molecules onto the nanoparticles may significantly change the hopping behavior of electrons through the particles. Carbon nanotubes are advantageous in fabrication of chemical nanosensors. This is due mainly to exceptional properties of carbon nanotubes. In particular, CNT have a high length to radius ratio, which allows for greater control over the unidirectional properties of the materials produced. They can behave as metallic, semiconducting, or insulating material depending on their diameter, their chirality, and any functionalization or doping. They have a high degree of mechanical strength. In fact they have a greater mechanical strength and flexibility than carbon fibers. Their properties can be altered by encapsulating metals inside them to make electrical or magnetic nanocables or even gases, thus making them suitable for storing hydrogen or separating gases. Electrical properties of CNT are sensitive to the effects of charge transfer and chemical doping by various molecules. The electronic structures of target molecules near the semiconducting nanotubes cause measurable changes to the nanotube's electrical conductivity. Nanosensors based on changes in electrical conductance are highly sensitive but they are also limited by factors such as their inability to identify analytes with low adsorption energies, poor diffusion kinetics and poor charge transfer with CNTs. Sensors based on carbon nanotubes can improve the detection of vapors from explosives. Sensors arranged in arrays will be tuned to respond to the presence of specific explosives and biological and chemical agents. Each nanotube will be anchored to a metallized silicon substrate at one end of the tube and chemically functionalized to bind only to a specific molecule at the other end. The tube experiences a lowering of the frequency when an extra mass is attached to the functionalized end of the tube. The presence of a mass of an adsorbed agent, such as anthrax, on the free end of the nanotubes will produce a measurable frequency shift. The selective binding of agents to the chemically functionalized nanotubes will allow the array to sense the presence of different BCX agents. Chemical nanosensors can be prepared by employing semiconductor nanowires. As shown in the upper left figure, Silicon nanowire can be used for circuits such as field effect transistor. For this purpose, silicon nanowire can be placed between source and drain electrodes. As illustrated lower left scheme, a general sensing device can be configured by linking a recognition group to the surface of the nanowire. This is due to a fact that silicon nanowires with their natural oxide coating make this receptor linkage straightforward. When the sensor device with surface receptor is exposed to a solution containing a macromolecule like a protein that has a net positive charge in aqueous solution, specific binding will lead to an increase in the surface positive charge and a decrease in conductance for a p-type nanowire device this can be reflected in the variation of electrical conductance nanochemical sensors can be used for drug discovery as shown in the right figure a 
tyrosine kinase function, where ADP binds to the kinase active site and then phosphate is transferred to a tyrosine residue of the substrate protein. In B, you can find that detection of ADP binding and small molecule inhibition is possible by using a SI nanowire as a sensor device functionalized with the tyrosine kinase ABL. As shown in C, structures of small molecules can be investigated for the inhibition of ADP binding to ABL. As shown in D, the analysis results can be translated into the normalized conductance versus time data recorded from ABL modified SI nanowire devices using solutions containing 100 nanomole ADP and 50 nanomole small molecule Gleevec, red, A1, blue, A2, green, A3, pink, and biotin, black. As was introduced in MEMS and NEMS, cantilever module is advantageous in measuring the mass, contact property with good selectivity and sensitivity. As illustrated in left figure, chemical vapors at very low concentrations can be detected based on the surface stress changes generated by the interactions between cantilever probe and target molecules on their surfaces. The magnitude of the surface stress change depends on the type of interaction taking place which includes hydrogen bonding electrostatic, van der Waals forces, etc. Using Stoney's formula, we can measure the surface stress change, delta sigma, from the deflection at the end of a cantilever, delta H. According to the formula, surface stress is linearly proportional to the deflection. For molecular recognition, surface stress changes the nanomechanical response of cantilevers. Bending of cantilevers detected by an optical deflection technique. When cantilever is designed to have flexible beam and rigid paddle regions, silicon nitride cantilever can be used to measure small molecule detection with few nanometer deflection. For example, silicon nitride cantilever with 200 micrometers long. 500 nanometers thick, with Young's modulus of 85 gigapascal, Poisson's ratio of 0.27, can detect a surface stress change of 1 millijoule per square meters. This surface stress will result in a deflection of 4 nanometers at the cantilever end which can be easily detected using an optical readout system similar to that of atomic force microscope. We can also use magnetic nanoparticles as nanosensors. Upon target binding, these nanosensors cause changes in the spin, spin relaxation times of neighboring water molecules which can be detected by magnetic resonance NMR /MRI, techniques. These magnetic nanosensors have been designed to detect specific mRNA proteins, enzymatic activity and pathogens like virus with sensitivity in femtomolecular. For example, as shown in the lower left diagram for 3 to 5 nanometers diameter monocrystalline iron oxide nanoparticles, the magnetic nanosensors can act as magnetic relaxation switches. Superparamagnetic nanoparticles self-assemble in the presence of a target with a corresponding decrease in the solution T2 relaxation time. Self-assembled nanoparticles can be dispersed by the action of an enzyme, temperature, or pH change depending on the nature of the bond holding the nanoassembly together. 
Magnetic nanosensors can be applied for measuring various enzymatic activities including restriction endonucleases, methylases, and proteases. Magnetic nanoparticles form clusters, upon addition of a complementary oligonucleotide, resulted in a quick and significant decrease in the spin-spin relaxation times T2, of neighboring water molecules at 40 degree of Celsius as shown in the middle plots. When a non-complementary oligonucleotide was used, no change in T2 was observed. At application of 1.5 Tesla, significant differences were readily apparent by MRI between the samples in the low femtomole range. Luminescence, specifically, Fluorescence, is commonly used in optical chemical sensing techniques. The inherent sensitivity of fluorescence analysis is well known and, because of this, it is often used for trace analysis. Owing to the small size of the sensors, the sampling volume was reduced by more than six orders of magnitude over conventional sensors, making it ideal for subcellular measurements. Let's think about an example. E. Nanobiosensors for the detection of nitric oxide via the fluorescence detection of cytochrome C, or fluorescently labeled cytochrome C salient features. Fast response time shorter than 1 second, reversible, and linear up to 1 millimole nitric oxide. Detection limit is 20 micromole making the sensor useful for some biological samples. Probes encapsulated by biologically localized embedding. Optical sensors that contain dyes whose fluorescence is quenched in the presence of the analyte to be determined. Recently, optical nanosensors charting biological applications pursues functional probes which is biocompatible. For example, there has been much interest in the probes encapsulated by biologically localized embedding which is abbreviated as pebbles. In pebbles, optical sensors that contain dyes whose fluorescence is quenched in the presence of the analyte to be determined. Pebbles can sense ions such as H+, Ca2+, K+, Na+, Mg2+, Zn2+, Cu2+, and Cl in cellular environments due to their small size, 20 to 600 nm in diameter, and protect the sensing elements, i.e. fluorescent dyes, by encapsulating them within an inert matrix. The selectivity and sensitivity of these nanosensors are comparable to those of macroscopic ion selective optodes and electrodes, while the response time and absolute detection limit are significantly better. However, in most practical applications, these pebble sensors have been problematic because of signal fluctuations that were not directly caused by the concentration of the analyte. These fluctuations can be due to light scattering or to fluctuations in the excitation source. Ratiometric pebble sensors overcome this problem. In this kind of sensor, a fluorescent indicator die and a fluorescent reference die are encapsulated inside the inert matrix. The sensor response is based on intensity ratios between the indicator and reference dies. The dynamic range and selectivity of the pebble is dependent on the dissociation constant of the dye with respect to the analyte and any interfering ions. Pebble protects the cell from the dye, protects indicator dyes from cellular interference, multiple dyes, ionophores, and other components can be combined to create complex sensing schemes, minimal physical perturbation of the cell. The advantages of pebble is from small sensor size enables rapid measurement, diagnosis, and monitoring of diseases, study early embryo development, and useful for quantitative measurements in intracellular environment.
Metal oxides possess a broad range of electronic, chemical, and physical properties that are often highly sensitive to changes in their chemical environment. The sensing properties of semiconductor metal oxide, nanobelts, nanowires, or nanoribbons, assures improved selectivity and stability due to their crystallinity. Their peculiar characteristics and size effects make them interesting both for fundamental studies and for potential nano-device applications, leading to a third generation of metal oxide gas sensors. Working Principle of Metal Oxide Gas Sensors One conductometric metal oxide gas sensors rely on changes of electrical conductivity due to the interaction with the surrounding atmosphere. 2. When a metal oxide is semiconducting, the charge transfer process induced by surface reactions determines its resistance. Sensing mechanism in metal oxide gas sensors is related to ionosorption of species over their surfaces. Ionosorbed species when operating in ambient air are oxygen and water. For some reducing gases, gas detection is related to the reactions between the species to be detected and ionosorbed surface oxygen. These consume ionosorbed oxygen and in turn change the electrical conductance of metal oxide. Metal oxide nanoire-based chemical sensors can be transformed into ion-sensitive field effect transistor. This type of sensor has advantages in preparation of low voltage, low-cost sensor arrays integrated with electronics. A type of ion-sensitive sensor is derived from the MOSFET. The working principle of this device is based on controlling the current that flows between two semiconductor electrodes. These drain and source electrodes are placed on one element, with the third electrode, the gate, between them. Measuring pH in slaughtered meat is a good way to monitor product.